Today on Free Field Training, we're going to talk about a simple handcuff technique that is transferring cuffs when you transfer someone either from private security to the police department or between agencies. I'm here today with my buddy Thorpe. He is the owner of the channel That One Jeep, and this is his Jeep. Thorpe, come on into the frame here. All right, now bend down so we're at the same height. <laughs> All right, so here's our cuffs applied to our suspect. As you can see on here, we are keyholes down. For this technique, it doesn't really matter whether you do things keyholes down or keyholes up, but you definitely want the keyholes just going one direction. Where this comes into play is oftentimes you'll have a single officer who has to transfer a suspect from one facility to another, one agency to another, and while we could take handcuffs off, then get four guys around big dude like Thorpe here and hold on to them and then take the cuffs off, apply another set of cuffs on, if we're by ourselves and we're transferring somebody, it helps to be able to keep one set of cuffs on while we put the other set of our cuffs on and then remove them from the situation or bring them back to our facility. So here we're keyholes down, so the next set of cuffs that that we're going to put on, we're going to put above them, we're going to put keyholes up. Notice we want the keyholes pointing opposite directions so we can get to all of the keyholes involved at once. This also helps us if we had put keyholes down and keyholes down and apply these above, yeah, we might be able to theoretically get these cuffs off, but if you've been a cop long enough, you've seen handcuffs break and you want to be able to get to all the keyholes on these cuffs, even if you're transferring somebody, if everybody did this forever, eventually someone would mess it up. So we're going to apply our next set of cuffs keyholes up. And we're gonna check those again for fit. Make sure we can get a couple of fingers underneath both sides. And we're gonna double lock these cuffs. So now our subject is originally restrained, however they were restrained, and when we applied our cuffs, we can still testify that yes, I applied the cuffs, yes, I checked for fit, and yes, I double locked the cuffs. Remember, never not double lock. Then we can go underneath and we can take the set of cuffs off from the other agency by unlocking the double lock if they were properly applied and removing them. And our subject never has to be taken out of cuffs in order to be safely transported. <laughs> so that's how you can put cuffs on and off someone who's already in custody that you need to transport more safely, even if you end up with some, some big monstrous galoot like this guy. Till next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. While you're here, check out one of our other videos or head on over to Patreon and see how you can get your name put on the videos like these fine folks over here. You can also get early access to the content and access to patrons-only live streams. We'll see you guys next time.